Our Destination D23 coverage continues. Right now, we're going to talk about the reimagining of Downtown Disney up next. Welcome aboard, everybody, to another episode of Orange Grove 55. So in this video, we are going to discuss the reimagining of Downtown Disney that was announced at this Destination D23 event this past weekend. Really, really cool stuff. A lot more Disneyland Resort stuff than I actually expected. I, I, I think I mentioned, uh, you know, on, on Twitter how I was like, oh, man, you know, I'm happy for Walt Disney World. They're going to get all the announcements. Disneyland, we'll, we'll watch from the sidelines. Not so much. Not so much. Disneyland got a lot. So I'm eating a lot of crow right now. And that's fine. When you're wrong, you're wrong. But I'm actually pleasantly surprised how much Disneyland Resort got this past weekend. It was really, really cool. But I don't want to digress too much further. Let's dive right into this downtown Disney news, shall we? All right. So... At this event, they gave us a little bit of concept art. Okay, they gave us a little bit of concept art in regards to the reimagining of Downtown Disney. Now, I want to give you guys a little bit of context here. This is the back portion of Downtown Disney. This is where Earl of Sandwiches, AMC, Rainforest Cafe, that whole back end. Okay, and that's actually very important to what I'm going to say here in a minute. But real quick, before we dive into any of that, I want to say I absolutely love the aesthetics going into this. I love the concept art. This is phenomenal. This remind this is very, very mid-century, very 1950s, maybe going into the 1960s. Um, it feels very mid-century, feels very New York World's Fair, feels very you know, like that 1960s Tomorrowland, it feels so, so Disneyland. This is classic, classic Disneyland. And I absolutely love it. This right here is interesting. Um, this little part, let me go ahead and pull this up real quick. I want to kind of highlight this. This little building right here actually reminds me of the, um, the Imagineering building in Glendale. Which is interesting. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe, maybe maybe there is something to that. I feel like maybe it's an homage to the Imagineering building in Glendale. Um, I hope it is. That would be pretty cool. Um, but overall, I, lo I love this mid-century vibage. I love the kind of like communal, like grassy area where people can kind of chill out. Just I, I adore this. I absolutely love this. And I hope it extends through the entire downtown Disney district. Now, there's been a lot of speculation, okay, in regards to what does this mean for the Disneyland Resort, right? There's been a lot of speculation, and um, there's been like, you know, content creators who have speculated that maybe this is like a subtle hint at a new Tomorrowland uh, and things like that. Um, really, my my kind of overall feeling on this concept art is that they're prepping the groundwork for what they want to do with the Disneyland hotel. This is all about the Disneyland hotel. This has nothing to do with the parks, nothing to do with the parks at all. This section of downtown Disney is the closest section to the Disneyland hotel. So this is sort of like how they're going to sort of transition you into that new Disneyland hotel. Look, we got concept art. Now let me go ahead and share my screen of a brand new Disneyland hotel. Well, a, a, a Disneyland hotel tower. It's a, it's a Disney vacation club tower. And look from the concept art, it looks very, very mid century. This is something that like, you can see like the design work, the, like this, the way it's all like the rock work down here and all that. It's very mid century. It looks like something out of the Incredibles movies or something. Right. So what I think they're doing here with downtown Disney is sort of um, prepping for that inevitability of the down of, of, of the Disneyland hotel, ultimately having this, you know, design 
Now, this is just one tower. This is just the DVC tower, the new one. But I think eventually the old towers, like these ugly blue, like fish tank looking towers, I think will eventually get the new mid-century style kind of, you know, mo you know, aesthetics. I really, really do. And I think that what you're seeing with downtown Disney with that mid-century kind of style is that they're just, they want to kind of blend all this together. They want you to kind of get into that mid-century energy before you enter the hotel, the Disneyland hotel area. So this is 100%, this downtown Disney reimagining, in my humble opinion, is 100% about the Disneyland hotel. Okay. I think that eventually the Disneyland hotel will undergo a major refurb with all the towers and will eventually get the same kind of love that you see right here with the DVC tower. And then that downtown Disney section leading into this will all make a lot more sense. Okay. Look, Disneyland hotel. I mean, it's always been sort of a retro kind of centric hotel. So it makes sense that the parts of downtown Disney closest to this hotel are a little more retro, right? It just kind of makes sense. It, it just, it's just, in my opinion, that's what's going on here. That's what's going on here. And it's very, 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 very exciting. Now, some people even said that this whole notion of reimagining downtown Disney sort of puts a nail in the coffin in regards to them building a Disney Springs kind of like retail district in the Toy Story lot. I don't know if I'd go that far, even though I am very bullish on them building a third park in the Toy Story lot. I, I, I still look, you guys watch my videos. I still don't, I'm not fully sold on this idea that they're going to waste 75 acres on the Toy Story lot on shopping. I find that hard to believe. But I just don't know if this points to them abandoning that. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't think this is, is necessarily evidence of them abandoning that. I think that um, this is just them sprucing up the area for, for Disneyland Hotel. You know? I mean, at the end of the day, though, I still stand, stand with my opinion in terms of, like, the Toy Story lot. I do think it will become a third park eventually. Um, I don't think it will, will become retail. There's a lot of space to waste on brick and mortar, which in my opinion, brick and mortar is kind of a dying kind of industry at this point. You know, I mean, even Disney isn't, isn't investing in their own Disney stores. I mean, they're closing all the Disney stores and they're going to spend millions and millions of dollars and 75 acres at Disneyland resort that they don't like. There's so, there's so, there's such little space here at Disneyland resort and they're going to blow 75 acres on brick and mortar. They're going to go all in on brick and mortar right now when brick and mortar as an overall industry is dying. I don't buy it. I don't buy it, but I don't want to get too much into that because that's a toy story a lot. I want to focus on this, but yeah, overall this new aesthetic for downtown Disney, I think is 100% tied to the, the, the direction of the Disneyland hotel. Disneyland hotel is going to go full mid century. The DVC tower that we see here, which looks incredible is just the beginning. In my opinion, I think that all the towers will eventually receive this kind of aesthetics, which is awesome. Plus if Disneyland forward gets approved, right? These towers potentially might loom over theme park space. And you don't want to have in like you don't want to be inside Disneyland and see these ugly fish tank aquarium looking towers, do you? The old Disneyland hotel towers. So I think they will beautify these ugly, ugly old Disneyland hotel towers and make them more mid-century, like like the new DVC tower. Because really, if Disneyland Forward goes forward, um, they don't want eyesores from within the park, right? So that's my opinion. I think this mid-century direction for downtown Disney is 100% all about the Disneyland Hotel. But I want to know what you guys think. What do you think? Wh like, what's going on here with downtown Disney, the overall ramifications? I would love to hear from you. Thank you all so, so much for watching OG55, where we focus a lot here on Disneyland because we love Disneyland. And you know what? Let's talk about it. I, I, I want to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, and as always, have a wonderful, wonderful 
day.